Hey guys, Enrique here from Maven, and I want to take five minutes to show you a really quick five minute Excel tip that used to be a lifesaver back when I was an analyst. Now, the idea here is to take a really granular set of source data and then use a pivot table to aggregate it and then format it in the same way that you could use as a new source data set. Now, this is actually really easy to do but you need to know exactly where to look and which settings to toggle on or off within your pivot tables. So let's jump quickly to Excel and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so now that we're here in Excel, we've got this small table where we have the points that Michael Jordan and LeBron James scored in each regular season game. Of their career. So we're looking at a pretty granular data set here. But what we actually want is to work with a much more summarized version of this data set where we really just want the points per game per each season for each player. So we don't need the granularity of needing to know how many points they scored in each one of those games. So to convert this data set into this new summarized data set, what we can do is actually use a pivot table. So let's go to insert, pivot table, press OK. And what we want is to show the points per season and per player. Now we don't want the sum of points. We actually want to show these or to summarize these as an average because we want the points per game. Let's format these with just one decimal place. Press OK. And you'll see that we are getting the points per game for each player for each season now. But this isn't really in a format that I could easily copy and paste somewhere else and use as my source data for a dashboard or a visual. Especially because we've got these labels kind of nested under each one of these players. But there are some things that we can do to turn this into some sort of data source tabular format. So we're going to go to the design tab. And we're going to change the report layout from the default compact form to the tabular form. So we're starting to get some structure here. We're also going to repeat all the item labels. And if you want to get rid of the kind of bolded font, you can remove the row headers here. And we can even go to pivot table analyze and remove the plus minus buttons. So we're getting a lot closer now. All we need to do are remove these kind of subtotals and total rows. To do that, again, let's go to design, turn off the grand totals, turn off the subtotals, and we've got the player, we've got the season, and let's just call this points per game. And there we go. So now what I could do is simply just copy that table, paste it somewhere else, and I can use that as the source data for whatever analysis I want to do, whether that be to prove Jordan is better or LeBron is better in this case, but I'll leave that up to you guys. For now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like or subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and make sure to leave any comments below if you have any additional questions or suggestions for this video. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.